What's up, Miss Singlified here, answering guys' dating questions from a woman's perspective. I have a question from, oh, I don't have my Singlified sticker. It's ruined because it got wet. Now it's just naked. Um, question from Taso or Tasso. I hope I'm saying it right. He says, Miss Singlified, how do you save a bad date? Okay. Well, I personally believe that if you're on a date and you think it's not going very well or you're not having fun, you should just end it. But if you want to conduct a fun experiment, you should try this. You ready for this? Hell yeah. So wherever you are on this date, leave the room for a minute. Make up an excuse like, oh, I think I just saw my friend leaving. I'm just gonna go say hi. Okay, so you leave, go outside, hide around the corner, and then you come back, and then you gotta make up a story about who you just saw. Huh, just saw my high school math teacher. He's married to our prom queen. Okay, so why does this work? Well, for one, it changes the atmosphere by you physically leaving the room. It's like basically pressing the reset button on your date. And also by you bringing some wacko story into the mix, it gives you guys a chance to bond over this particular story. Because usually what happens on a date is that it's a me versus you mentality. But in this case, it would be you and her versus this other story. And research shows that couples who gossip together stay together. But again, I don't condone saving bad dates because I don't think they're worth the time or the extra energy. And also, I don't condone this much lying on a date. But if you want to give yourself a little challenge of turning a bad date into a good date, by all means, try it. All right, Tasso, you've been single-fied. Another challenge I have for you is instead of turning a bad date into a good date, can you turn a bad date into an even worse date? Aha! Uh -huh.